A woman in her 40s is dead after a daylight shooting in Leslieville on Friday. And just this morning, a man and a woman are left injured following a drive-by shooting. For more on this, we're joined by Louis March, founder of the Zero Gun Violence Movement. Thanks for joining us here on CP24 Live at Noon. Uh, your initial reaction on this recent incidence of gun violence. How, how is Toronto doing uh, as a city so far this year? So far this year, uh, the gun violence numbers have significantly declined from this time last year. Every shooting, every homicide is a real concern to us, but the shootings are down 30 percent compared to this time last year. The homicides are down over 50 percent compared to this time last year. Right. And so it seems like at least in the most recent ones, one was in Leslieville, broad daylight. Here's another one, you're young and blur. Sun was still just coming up. It, is it concerning that these are happening right downtown in, in places where so many people work and live? It should be concerning because of the brazen nature of the shootings, but also the unpredictability. The safe zones that are normally, you know, safe zones have been breached. Mm -hmm. And you can't predict where the next shooting will take place. And we've been speaking about that for the last few years about uh, what can we do to make everybody feel safe in our city? Not only some people, but all people. And the brazenness of the shootings, the broad daylight, the unpredictability should be a major concern in terms of how do we break this cycle, how do we interrupt it, and how do we stop it? Right, because we're told, you know, nothing good happens after 2 a.m. But, yeah, this is 12 o'clock at noon. This is 12 o'clock, middle of the day, on a Friday, on a long weekend. You know, heading into summer break for a lot of people, we have 6 a.m. And so what, what do you tell the family? We saw, you know, a father and two young girls lost their mother on Friday just going out to get lunch. What do you tell them? The message is clear. Like, it's very concerning because we work with victims of gun violence. And we know the agony, the pain, and the grief that they go through. Not only the family, but the community. And in addition, the city. And... Uh, we have to be better at how we address the issue of gun violence. How do we stop it? And how do we deal with the grief and pain that comes after it? We work with mothers, we work with families, we work with victims of gun violence. And the stories are unbearable in terms of what the people have to go through. So our concern goes out to everybody that are victims of gun violence. Uh, and we have to be better at it. Right. And, well, Olivia Chow is going to be sworn in as Toronto's next mayor on Friday. Do you, do you have any messages for the income, incoming mayor on how to, how to deal with this, not just the gun violence, but you talk about the brazenness of this? First of all, I congratulate her on her victory. Uh, when it comes to the gun violence, we've been working with the city over the last few years. The city already has a strategic action plan. It's called SafeTO that has to be uh, put into place immediately. It deals with community safety. It deals with public safety. It deals with collaboration between the key stakeholders in terms of sharing information, working together to get ahead of the violence and not only responding to it. We also have uh, Towards Peace, which is another city initiative. She needs to make sure that they are operating at their best right now because the summer is here and we know the violence will increase over the summer as people are more out moving around, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to look at those programs right now and make sure they're operating at their best and there can be no further delay. All right. Well, she is expected to address the media at some point today. I'm sure she's going to be asked about this uh, very shooting this morning. But uh, Louis March, thanks so much for chatting with us on this very important issue. We wish it wasn't an issue, but it is one. Thank you very much for lending your insight. Have a blessed day.